Hey guys, great to see you and welcome to another video. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. So, in this lesson, I'm going to take a look at a track by Motorhead called The Ace of Spades. Now, unlike my previous kind of lessons and things where I give you an intro and things like that as to how the song goes, in this instance, I've popped the link down below to the original version, the acoustic version of the song which you will need to have a listen to if you're not familiar with it already because this will really help you come to terms with the arrangement now i would also suggest that you go back to my lesson on tips for learning songs and print off the blank arrangement sheet so you can get into this habit of writing things down from beginning to end um, and so once you've done that we come back here and I will run through the song and explain everything to you okay so hopefully now you have some idea as to how the arrangement goes and the general feel of the song so what you'll probably realize is that the bulk of the song revolves around that riff within the song which it opens with which goes like this <laughs> And it's a very straightforward riff. All we're really doing is we're playing an A chord here. We're barred on the second fret. But really all we're concentrated on here is the fourth string. Because in a lot of this song, we're just playing on two notes most of the time. Okay? So in this instance with the A, for the open A, we're just striking the fifth and the fourth strings. Okay? Now, just so you know what the riff is, it starts, it cycles between this open A chord, also the fifth string of the third fret with a slight bend, so it's a bend and then open A, and then it cycles between the fifth and the sixth strings with your middle finger, index finger remaining on the A chord. So let me play it really, really slowly, and you can see it switching between the fifth string here and the sixth string and the open chords. So we've got. And that's really all the riff is. It's very, very simple, it's not too difficult, but what gives it its distinctive sound is the fact that there are stops within the song, so it's like a... So you need to be able to dampen or stop the strings from ringing out too much, and the only way you'll kind of get a feel for that is by having a listen to the track to hear when it does it, okay? So, like I say, don't worry too much about this riff, it's not too difficult, and I have included a PDF with just the riff, should you be struggling with that. So one more time, A chord, starting with the middle finger on the fifth string of the third fret, a bend, open A chord, to the sixth string, open A chord, open A chord, back to the sixth string, Back to the open A chord, 5th string, 6th string, 5th string, 6th string, 5th string, 6th string and open. So you can hear all that's happening there, oh we're playing those three different things, the open A, the bend on the 5th string 3rd fret, and the sixth string. Okay, so the song opens up with that riff. And when the vocal comes in, it switches to a C chord, a C5. And all we're doing is playing the fifth string, third fret, and the fourth string, fifth fret. It chokes on that C chord. You win some, lose some, it's all the same to me. Back to riff.
then we're into a G5 chord, which is just the sixth string uh, third fret and the fifth string fifth fret. Chug. Move it down two to the F shape. And back to the riff. Back to the G. F riff. Now that, depending on, I call that a kind of verse. Okay, you might divide that up into verse chorus, but just bear with me for a moment. I'm going to call that a verse. So if we were to look at the intro and the verse, we just have the intro riff. Into the C. If you like to gamble, I tell you I'm your man. You win some, lose some, it's all the same to me. Okay. Makes no difference what you say. Riff. Back to the G. I don't shake weed. The only card I need is the ace of spades. Okay, so that is like a complete verse. Let's call it a verse, all right? And so that will reoccur for each verse. Now, after you've played two verses, it, it kind of goes into this A. And the a lot of the guitar work drops out and it becomes very sparse. So it goes, you know I'm born to lose, gambling's for fools. But that's the way I like it, baby. I don't want to live forever. Okay, so all that bit is just A. You know I'm born to lose. Then there's a quick, which is just a bend on the sixth string third fret with an A. Gambling's for fools. But that's the way I like it, baby. I don't want to live forever. Then it goes to the G. Then what it does is it goes up to an A, so move it up two frets, G, F, E major. So let's take a look at that whole section. You know I'm going to lose, gambling's for fools, but that's the way I like it, baby, I don't want to live forever. Then it goes to a D5. Okay, so we just take that C we were playing and we move it up two frets. And it chugs on that for a while. It goes back into the riff. Then you're back into another verse. And so now we have a verse and we have the middle. Okay, the middle being the ambulance for fools. Yeah, all that section. And then we have goes into the G. To the D. Holds that D for quite a while. Back into the riff. And then you're into another verse, essentially. Now, the only other thing you really need to know about here is the ending. And at the end, it does this kind of um, G, F thing twice. It goes...
So if you end it something like that, then you'll be on the right track, okay? So it's only that G and F, which you've already looked at. It's just the timing, so it goes G, F, G, F. Then it goes to this A shape again. And you're just adding that uh, middle finger onto the sixth string third fret. And you're killing the sound, in, more importantly. And then I put in like a, which is just like a C. Okay, so that's the eighth fret. And back into the A. And end. And so that is pretty much what's happening within the song. In fact, that is what's happening within the song. And that is the rhythm structure to the song. You'll probably hear that there's a harmonica on there. And there's also a second guitar. Which is, there's a second guitar part which is playing around. Try and experiment a little bit, yeah? If I leave you a little something to do, I feel that that's more beneficial to you in the long run. Sure, it's great for me to tell you all the little bits and pieces that are happening, but that's not going to train your ears too much. So think about this second string between the first and the third fret. I'm playing the first string along with it. Yeah, so it's like a bend in this third fret, second string. You'll find a lot of those kind of notes for that little riff that's occurring just there between the first and the third on the B string. Okay, if any of you are more interested in that, we'll come back and we'll take a look at it. But I think initially it's a good idea for you to just write down the arrangement and get a feel for how it all fits together. And I think if you do that, you will have accomplished quite a lot, you know, because this is maybe your first step to writing down arrangements. And remember what we said in the Tips for Learning songs, that it's so, so important to have, you know, a beginning and an end, and to play it from beginning to end. That's going to serve you really, really well. So I hope that that helps you guys, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop those down below, and I will get back to anybody who's kind of struggling or having any problems with it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.